What if I told you Israel's very first air to air missile wasn't just a weapon, but the spark that launched an entire era of air superiority? Today, we're breaking down the Shafrer, the missile that turned a small nation's air force into a regional powerhouse. Stay with me, this story is pure military evolution. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We're diving into one of the most important foundations of Israel's early air power, the Shafrir missile. Before Israel became known for cutting edge systems like the Spike Arrow or Stunner, there was a time when the country struggled to secure even the most basic military hardware. That challenge is what gave birth to the Shafrir, Israel's very first domestically developed air-to-air -air missile. In this section, we'll uncover the origins of this weapon, why it was developed, and how it quickly became a symbol of Israel's ability to innovate under pressure. Imagine an era where Israel's survival depended heavily on aerial victories. The Shafrir wasn't just a tool, it was a statement, a message that Israel would not rely solely on foreign suppliers, but would build its future with its own hands. This missile paved the way for future Israeli innovations and gave the IF the confidence it needed during some of the most intense moments in its history. Stick around. What you're about to learn will show how a modest missile became a turning point in national defense. The story of the Shafrir begins in the late 1950s when Israel recognized it needed advanced air to air weapons to survive rising regional tensions. At that time, Israel was heavily reliant on foreign suppliers for military gear, which made the country vulnerable to embargoes and political pressure. The answer, build a completely homegrown missile from the ground up. Israel Aircraft Industries, known today as IAI, was tasked with making the impossible possible. Engineers faced major challenges, lack of funding, limited experience, and almost no access to global missile technology. Yet, Israeli determination turned those obstacles into motivation. The Shafer program wasn't just about building a weapon, it was about gaining independence. While the first version had limitations, it represented something far more important capability. The early engineers built everything from scratch, from the seeker head to the propulsion system, proving Israel could innovate even under constraints. This initiative laid the foundation for Israel's future world-class missile programs Understanding these origins helps us appreciate just how significant the Shafir was. It wasn't perfect, but it was the first step toward a long line of Israeli excellence in aerial warfare. Let's break down the Shafir 1, the prototype that sparked a revolution. Introduced in the early 1960s, the first Shafir was small, lightweight, and designed for close-range dogfights. Its infrared seeker was basic compared to modern standards, but at the time, it represented a major leap forward for Israel. The missile could lock onto the heat signature of an enemy aircraft and engage targets within short distances. While the technology was modest, it fit the needs of Israeli pilots, who often fought in high speed, low altitude environments where quick reactions mattered more than long range capacity. Despite its promise, Shafrir 1 struggled during real combat. Its seeker had difficulty maintaining lock and its hit probability was lower than expected. Combat stress revealed multiple weaknesses from limited agility to inconsistent tracking. But Israel didn't see this as failure. It saw it as a blueprint for improvement. The Shafir 1 became the learning stage for engineers, allowing them to study battlefield results and immediately apply improvements. This willingness to iterate fast is what would eventually transform the Shafrir from a modest prototype into a deadly and reliable missile that shaped Israel's early air superiority. The true breakthrough came with the Shafir II, the upgrade that changed everything after learning from the limitations of the first version. Israeli engineers redesigned nearly the entire system. The new missile featured a far more advanced infrared seeker, better resistance to countermeasures, 
improved maneuverability, and significantly increased hit probability. This time, Israel wasn't just building a missile, it was aiming for a weapon that could dominate regional skies. The Schaffer II quickly proved itself in training and simulation, outperforming many foreign missiles of the same era. Pilots praised its reliable lock on capabilities, ease of use, and remarkable consistency during high speed engagements. Unlike the first version, which struggled under real combat conditions, the Schaffer II was ready for war. It became the backbone of the Israeli Air Force's short range air to air capabilities throughout the late 1960s and early 1970s. This missile marked the point where Israel's defense industry shifted from experimental to world class innovation. The improved design demonstrated that Israel could produce weapons not just for survival, but for superiority. The Schaffer II would soon get the ultimate opportunity to prove itself in one of the most intense air conflicts of the century. Now let's go to the real battlefield, the War of Attrition and the Yom Kippur War. These conflicts gave the Schaffer II the stage to show what it could truly do. During these wars, Israeli pilots relied heavily on fast, decisive aerial engagements to counter large waves of enemy aircraft from multiple directions. The Schaffer II proved ideal for this environment. Its improved seeker locked onto enemy fighters with greater accuracy, even in chaotic dogfights filled with flares and evasive maneuvers, reports from pilots showed a dramatic rise in successful engagements. The missile achieved dozens of confirmed kills, helping the Israeli Air Force maintain dominance during critical moments. For a country fighting for survival, this wasn't just tactical success, it was strategic advantage. The Schaffer II gave Israel the ability to react faster, strike harder, and defend its airspace with confidence. These victories cemented the missile's reputation and validated the years of engineering improvements. Combat data also continued to refine Israel's understanding of missile performance, feeding into future weapons development. The Schaefer's battlefield's success helped shift Israel's identity from a buyer of weapons to a global innovator. Beyond performance, the Schaefer symbolized something far more meaningful, independence. Before its development, Israel's security depended heavily on external suppliers, which was unreliable due to shifting political alliances. The Shafrir marked the first big step toward breaking that dependence. It showed Israel could research, develop, and mass produce its own advanced systems. This achievement gave the country not only military confidence, but also economic and technological momentum. The success of the Shafrir encouraged further investments into the defense industry and helped launch other major programs from radar systems to aircraft upgrades and later advanced missile families like Python and Derby. Countries around the world began noticing Israel's defense capabilities, opening the door to future exports and international cooperation. The Shafir helped Israel transition from a nation fighting to survive to a nation shaping global military technology. It proved that innovation born from necessity can evolve into innovation driven by ambition. Without the Shafrir, Israel's defense technology landscape might look very different today. It was the seed that grew into an entire industry respected worldwide. After the success of Shafrir II, Israel didn't stop. The lessons learned led directly to the development of the Python family, some of the world's most advanced short range air to air missiles. Python 3 built on Schaffer's foundation, but with far superior tracking, high G maneuvering, and greater kill probability. Python 4 took things further with all aspect engagement, meaning pilots could fire at targets not just from behind, but from nearly any angle. Python 5, the latest in the series, brought imaging infrared seekers, allowing it to track and identify targets with extreme precision. All of these missiles have roots in the Schaffrir program. Without those early experiments, tests, and battlefield lessons, Israel wouldn't have become a global leader in missile technology.
Today, the Python series is exported worldwide and integrated into modern aircraft across several air forces. This evolution shows how a single early stage missile can grow into a technology family that influences global air combat. The Schaffer wasn't just a missile, it was a starting point for decades of innovation that continue shaping modern aerial warfare. Let's break down the technology behind the Schaffer II to really understand why it was so effective. The missile used a heat-seeking infrared guidance system optimized to lock onto engine exhaust from enemy aircraft. What made it special was the improved sensitivity and stability compared to the first generation. The missile could maintain a lock even during evasive maneuvers or low altitude chases. Its propulsion system provided powerful acceleration, allowing it to close distance rapidly. This was crucial in dogfights where milliseconds mattered. The fins and control surfaces were redesigned for superior agility, giving the missile the ability to perform tight turns at high speeds. Internally, the warhead was engineered for maximum effectiveness even with proximity detonations, meaning the missile didn't need a direct hit to destroy the target. Every technical improvement was driven by real combat data. Israeli engineers listened to pilots, studied footage, and analyzed failures to continuously refine the system. The result was a missile that pilots trusted, a missile that didn't just perform well in ideal conditions, but in messy, unpredictable, real-world engagements. That reliability is why the Schaffer too quickly became the pride of the Israeli Air Force. As Israel continued refining its weapon systems, the Shafra remained a symbol of its defense evolution. Internationally, it showed the world that Israel could produce competitive, reliable weapons at a time when few believe such a small nation could achieve this level of innovation. The Shafra attracted interest from foreign militaries, helping Israel build a reputation in global defense markets. While the missile was eventually replaced by Python variants, its legacy continued through every new system that emerged. Many technological principles pioneered in the Schaffer program, seeker optimization, aerodynamic refinements, and pilot-oriented design became standard practice in Israeli missile development. This missile also reshaped Israel's air combat doctrine, Pilots became more aggressive and confident, knowing they had reliable weapons on board. The combination of skilled pilots and advanced missiles formed a powerful synergy that remains central to Israel's air strategy today. The Shafra's influence extended beyond combat. It shaped industry, training, design philosophy, and national identity. For Israel, it wasn't just a weapon. It was proof of what the nation could accomplish under pressure. In conclusion, the Shafra missile stands as one of the most important milestones in Israel's military history. It represents the moment Israel transitioned from relying on others to building its own advanced systems. The Shafra didn't start perfect, but its evolution from the limited Shafra 1 to the deadly Shafra 2 showcases Israel's ability to learn, adapt, and innovate rapidly. Its battlefield performance during critical wars not only secured air superiority, but also set the stage for future technologies that would become globally recognized. The Schaffer paved the way for the Python family, one of the world's most advanced series of air-to-air -air missiles. Its impact goes far beyond engineering. It shaped doctrine, strengthened national confidence, and built the foundation for an entire defense industry. Understanding the Shafrir is understanding the beginning of Israel's journey toward becoming a global military innovator. This missile is a reminder that big achievements often begin with small, determined steps. And in Israel's case, those steps change the future of air combat. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Israeli military technology, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another breakdown. Drop a comment about which missile or aircraft you want covered next.